if the conglomerate has tried to make people hate me, it's done that. It's tried. It has tried to make people hate me, and it has really succeeded a lot. Um, and it, if people don't hate me, then they're terrified of being involved in my life, as anybody would be. Um, you know, the, this, the, so, the social ostr ostr ostracization, ostracization, ostracization. I don't know if that's the right word. Ostracizing is very effective. It's a, it's a very effective way of hurting somebody. You know, and it's just you know. So, so all of those things kind of add up. Um, and yeah, and I, and I think people do get in a situation where, you know, if they've, if they've, if they've been in an abusive situation, they, kind of what happens to them is that the only people they end up knowing are the ones who are who were abusive to them in the first place, right? Or are sort of part of that same that same group of people. And it's, you know, and, and there's change occasionally, sometimes there isn't, it goes all the way, you know, it goes all the way, all the way back to the beginning frequently. Um, but it's, it's kind of, it can be kind of tough to walk away from what's familiar, right? So there's part of all of that stuff too. Um, that was what I was thinking. I think, I think, I think, primarily, I just, I just want, I just wanted to make sure that it was clear. I'm not, I'm not, I am not looking for something to use the justification, you know, for them to break up. I'm not doing that, you know, I mean, I, and as far as, like, what am I going to say next? Certainly, certainly people get married at that age, you know, certainly people who are, he's almost 30 and she's 27, 28, something like that, people do get married, um, you know, it's not too young to get married, and I can't, I don't know, I don't really, I don't really, really know them, you know, I don't really know him, um, I know her even less, you know, I've never spent time with them, don't really know them, haven't talked to them, um, so as far as, like, you know, I mean, I, I, I have, I have tended to kind of, it, it tends to be a good idea to try to be, spa you know, sparing with your advice, like actual advice to people. So maybe I'll just kind of leave it there. You know, I'm not, I'm not looking for a reason. I am far from convinced that dating a celebrity would be a good idea for me. Um, there's all sorts of people out there. There's other things that I want. Um, and I have, you know, it's some kind of serious decisions that I have to make soon, you know, about whether or not I want to have kids, that kind of thing. Um, but I don't, I don't want Christian kids. <laughs> I didn't, I, I don't, and I am not going to be the one who's going to take care of them, to be honest, you know, to be honest. So, you know, I mean, if, if, if I'm going to meet someone anytime in the next couple of years, and I'm also going to have kids, he's probably going to have to be the primary provider for them. You know, the one, the one who takes care of them most, because I am, I am at the age where, and, 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 and I'm in a situation where I have to choose between being a mother. I think I do. I think I do. I think I have to choose between being a mother and having the kind of career that I want to have in motherhood. And both of those things are just so important that it wouldn't be fair to either of those things to um, not give them the time and attention that they both need. So either I am just not going to have kids, which, I mean, I can see myself being happy that way. It's too bad. I mean, the conglomerate has taken that from me too for all, all the reasons that I've said. You know, all the work I've been doing over the past few years to try to fight what the conglomerate does, plus this horrible, horrible burden of the videos and how hard it would be to grow up as a kid having a mother, you know, who's, who has been treated the way that I'm treated, with those videos circulating more and more and more. I mean, it, it would have been bad anyway. If, even if I had never gotten videotaped, you know, with being called slut, 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 like over and over and over and crazy and all the stuff and all the things people have said about me, it would be very hard to be my kid, you know? Um, but then with the videos, it's just, I mean, it was just, it, it's, it's a terrible thing to bring a kid into. Um, and, you know, I mean, I, I've known, I, I, there's no, you, you, you can be happy, um, without having children. It, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't, it, it's, it's, it doesn't have to be like, your whole life is unfulfilled if you don't have kids. You don't have to do that, you know? I mean, I, I never, th I, I guess, I guess when I was growing up, I always thought I'd be a mother. Um, and then even into my 30s, I was like, even things were kind of, you know, I, I, as I thought my life was kind of improving to a certain extent, I kind of thought I would have time, but it, it kind of looks like maybe I'm not going to anyway, you know? I mean, you can have kids into your late 40s, um, but as I said, you know, I have other things that I need to do, and if I have to choose between motherhood and a career, I'm not going to choose motherhood. So there's, there's that, there's that to consider too. <laughs> that whole thing about not wanting to have Christian kids, is, is that, a, is that a shocker? I find Christianity kind of interesting. Um, I've had some negative experiences with it over the past year, actually, in a way that I did not anticipate. Um, but, you know, I mean, it, I think any, most religions, the people who are really sincere about them, can, I, I think they tend to, they tend to kind of all get to the same conclusions about how you're supposed to treat people and, 
you know, to be, you know, how you're supposed to deal with God and that kind of thing. And of course, people abuse religion all the time. But I, you know, as as much respect as I can have for anybody's religion, I am not interested in having Christian children. I'm not. I'm not. I would not. I would not allow someone to raise my children to be Christian. Um, I don't like martyr stories. And if they're going to have religion, it would be Judaism. You know, I have kind of, I have kind of a piecemeal, have kind of piece, have had kind of a piecemeal um, introduction, introduction to Judaism anyway. Um, but it's 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 the religion that I identify with the most. You know that, and you know, in Buddhism, I can't call myself a Buddhist, but I think it's really helpful. You know, and I am so poor, so 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 very very poor. You know that I think it would be. What, what am I gonna do? I'm a data millionaire, and I'm so poor. I don't want someone taking care of me. So there, there are, those are all of my thoughts about that, I think, for the time being. And I hope, I hope it's helpful, you know? I am, I am not, I, I'm not interested in, I'm not interested in being the bad guy. Really, I'm not. You know, and it's not just a question of, like, I don't want people to think. I, I, it's not just a question of, like, oh, yeah, I want to do bad guy things and have, and still have people think well of me. I mean, honestly, if, if I think something is the right thing to do, I try to do it. You know, and what the conglomerate says about that, I've tried not to let that affect me too much, although it does, it does upset me, annoy me, you know, it, it, it endanger me, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess that was kind of everything I had to say about that.